I'm Gary from PR Japonics, York Springs, Pennsylvania. Um, today we're I want to show you the six plant fall powering system. This is a waterfall system that we made here and we build these, we ship them out. Um, if you haven't ever seen this before, we have multiple videos out about fall powerings and how to build them in great detail. I've gone in great deal, detail how to drill the holes and all that. I'm not gonna go through all that in this video, but I just wanted to show you the six plan because it is a little bit different. Um, because we're dividing our water up in the middle here, it's going out evenly both ways, and then this side's getting four buckets, this side's only getting two, so the water flow is not even in all the buckets. Um, so we had to put this valve here, so I wanted to show you this valve pretty much. If you leave it run full way open, these back two buckets get more water than the other ones, so. If you choke it off just a little bit, you can kind of even out your buckets. It's an odd size too. Um, just because of our manufacturing, I wanted to kind of keep things in to with the other systems that I build so that I don't have to have like a zillion different parts built. Um, we do offer a do-it-yourself kit on this one. So you can go and drill your own holes and space it out however you want. And um, we ran everything nice. The lines, the air lines, we went and did them all nice in here just to show you that, you know, it's nice to have your system all nice and clean when you set it up. Um, this is six plants and it's got the reservoir outside of the tent. The reservoir outside the tent allows you to deal with your nutrients, your pH, all that stuff without having to disturb your tent. So. That is what that is there for. We have a water level indicator tube on that reservoir because you don't want to let your outboard pump run dry. And that goes through the porthole of the tent just like our fall panics. If you don't need to put this in a tent, you can order it and put it in the comment notes to just do a straight piece here and we'll send you a straight piece instead of having the hump piece. But that was what we came up with to get out of the tent without having to cut holes through people's tents, which I don't like to recommend doing. Um, this particular version, since it's a six plant version, it's a six apple pump. So we're using a heavy duty commercial pump here. And that uh, puts out a pretty good bit of air. So we, up, we upped our air stone size also on this version so that the pump's not restricting anything. This has a two inch by four inch cylinders in it. It's running smooth. The pump we use is um, 529 gallons per hour. So they're each getting about 90 gallons per hour of nutrient water. So it should keep it very stirred up for you and it should keep all your pH levels even. Um, <clears throat> when you go to buy this from us already made, the manifold will come in three pieces. You'll have the front section here, the back section with the valve on it, and then your long piece that runs out the hole. That'll be pre-assembled for you. Um, you will have to screw in all your bulkheads, but they will all be glued. All the holes are drilled. We got eight inch heavy duty net baskets here and our little lids. These you can open up your flaps here and that'll allow you to see your root zone. And you can also drop the included drain pump down in here. And it's a bottom feed pump that you can put a bottom feed attachment on. And that'll suck the water down to about a half inch. So pretty easy, comes with everything. You will have to buy your clay rocks. We're not gonna offer it with this one because they're gonna beat it up when we ship it. But if you order the clay rocks from us, they'll come in a separate box. Um, this is, to keep my, my schematics right, this is pretty much the eight plant version of this that I build, except we're left off two of the end plants. So it's technically designed for a four by six Gorilla Grow tent, which doesn't exist. So, you can put it in a four by eight grill, grill to grow tent and it'll work fine, just have a little extra space on the end. Um, the tent that I chose is this one, which I, this is another brand of tent that I really have thought's pretty decent. Um, they have some really cool sizes out. They design a lot of their tents around ceramic 315 lights or LED grow lights that cover three by three like these um, HLG 300 R specs that we're using in here. <clears throat> and this is part of a package deal too. Um, the Hydropolis tents are really pretty decent. They've got um, all the special features I like out of the higher end tents. It's got the inside flaps to cover the zippers. 
Um, even the back door zippers have little flaps that cover the zipper, so your light leaks are not going to happen as bad. Um, the HLGs themselves, these are the 300 R specs. This is pretty much half of the 600 R spec, their new replacement of the old 550s. And HLG has kept innovating. They've got some really awesome stuff out, and they keep coming out with new stuff. These have a built in dimmer on them, too, so you can dim, dim stuff down. If you buy the tent kit, up in here is our six inch ventilation kit, which is the Vortex Pro Light filter with the Australian carbon, our six inch jet fan, and that comes with the speed control, which I got sitting out here. And pretty much the entire package is a nice little package. This is, I won't say crammed in here, but it's tight. <laughs> the Fallponic pretty much fit perfectly in here. And yeah. The tent itself is decent. It's, I like it a lot. I think they're made at a factory that makes some other ones that I really like. But I'm sure they won't tell me that. But um, up in the ceiling here, I do want to show you there is not as many beams as I would like, just like everybody else always says about their tents. Um, pretty much, I think you could probably have 10 poles on top of your tent and still not be happy. But we made it work. I have one light hooked to the cross pole that goes this way, then I have the other cross pole going that way for the other light, and then I put my two other poles on the same end, that way I can hook my fan, zip tie them to it, which I did that first, and then I just use the included tent straps to put the filter up here. So I got the filter in the middle of the tent, that way it's going to kind of suck the heat in from the lights here, and yeah. It's decent. So really cool little package here. This tent's about three foot, three and a half foot deep and about six and a half foot long. And then it doesn't have the full height that the other tents have. But it is very decent. But other than that, I wanted to show you that because this valve is something different that isn't on my other systems and you pretty much need to know about that. Um, I noticed it when we were filling it up that the back two buckets were not quite as even when I got to the line of the bucket. So I knew I needed to slow it down a little more. Um, I got these filled up pretty high right now. If you're taking cuttings, this would be great to start your plants in. If you're, if you're starting them in um, starter plugs like Root Ride or what, whatnot, you're probably gonna even have your water up a little bit higher. You can go up as high as the air line. The reservoir bucket will run a few inches lower than the rest of the system. So keep that in mind too. It's just the way it works. It piles water up in here. The weight of the water pushes down and pushes over the hump back in. So, but yeah, I just wanted you to see this. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll try to keep up with them. And uh, thank you all. You've been great supporters. If you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe. Um, I enjoy knowing that everybody is enjoying our stuff. And I thank you all for ordering. Um, Gotta do a shout out for FedEx because they've been helping us out and getting stuff out quick. And other than that, you all have a good one. Take care. Have a good one.